Okay, today's draw through October we're gonna be doing is an owl. Okay, so um, again, I'm using eight by eight watercolor paper and gouache. So I need to make a brown shape. And this is what I'm gonna do today. I think I'm not gonna use my pencil to sketch and I'm just gonna jump in. I do have to add the sepia to my color palette. Make brown, I just wanna use it. Sometimes I'm lazy. I'm gonna add some mixing white because I need to lighten this base color up. Don't need a lot. So let's see if I can do this successfully. He's got a and a rounded body. And the cool thing about gouache is it's a great paint you can layer. Yeah, it's more white. I do need to do his ear tufts. If you didn't know, then the reason I noticed is because when I talked kindergarten and second grade, I did a kind of a spooky, creepy crawly unit during this time of the year. And we would learn about worms and owls and kind of bats, Halloween-y type. Um, creatures and it was my way of bringing Halloween into the classroom without bringing Halloween into the classroom because if you don't know as teachers even though everybody looks like they celebrate Halloween not everybody does so it's kind of my way of doing it okay so owls actually don't have ears they have something called ear tufts which look like ears but they don't act like ears okay I gotta switch to a smaller brush because these little um bumps are going to go right on this corner. So I want to make sure I have a smaller brush to control easier. Okay, so I have my base color. This has to dry completely before um, I add all the details. I'm just going to be using this, the, um, sepia hue and then I think I'm going to lighten this shade up a little more to make it a light brown. So this layer has to dry. Um, so just either put it away, work on it later, blow dry it if it's possible. You don't want it too wet to blow dry. Um, but we'll come back to this. I'm going to go back to my sepia because I need a dark brown. A white. And maybe a little tiny bit of the yellow. Let me add some black because I may have to darken up. So I'm going to make a look on his beak. So his beak is going to be right around here because I'm going to make part of his. Oh, that's drying. Get my brush clean. I'm going to lighten up. See if yeah, I need a little darker than this, but not as dark. It's one thing I like about gouache, you can layer it as long as it's dry. To me, it looks really good. Okay, so I need to use the same color. I'm 
want the beak to be coming out of this. So it's kind of pointing off this triangle shape. Okay, so the wings are going to be a pure sepia. So I don't want to add any white. I want it to be a shade darker than what I got. And they're pulled in. Not perfectly same. Close enough. Okay, and then the white eyes are coming out from that brown. So make sure my brush is completely clean. Okay. So my last step, I always I can't add the little closed eyes. That's just the fur around the eyes. I'm gonna add some little dashes on this part, maybe that part, so I'm gonna get a smaller brush. I'm gonna use pure sepia, maybe darken it up a little bit with some black. I really look at pictures of owls, they're actually very pretty, like the fur, the different designs of the fur, it's just really kind of cool. Okay, his eyes, I'm gonna keep the same brown. I think that's dry enough. Oh, and then his feet. So I'll clean that off, go back to my dark permanent yellow. Okay, I think I'm done. Again, I should have done the left before I did the right because then I'm having to awkwardly make sure I don't touch. And I'm just goofing off. Got to get this hand better at doing little details. Okay. I think my little owl is done. You know what? I've never signed it with a gouache like this, so let's try. All right, I hope you um, enjoyed doing your owl and gouache or whatever material you had. Again, I think I'm gonna, I've done a couple in gouache. I think I'm gonna switch to a different material next um, October doodle we're doing together.